good morning welcome to Ricardo's Crossing okay so I'm exploring Spanish tarot right and the astrology aspects of it now I know this is very different than Thoth right away the traditional astrology and tarot stuff but this is what has come out of this book so this is what I'm working with at this time now I'm going to pull out cards of time and what I want to do is pull out the zodiac cards the astrology cards the astrology cards and so we're going to do like um let's just pull this to one side i don't need that straight away right so we've got the aries card here okay so i'm just trying to work out where i'm at aries right next is taurus okay next is gemini okay i'm gonna know it's a bit of a tricky situation that we're in here okay so we've got cancer is number four i know it's going to come into the center here but that's all right four then we've got five and six so we've got leo then virgo okay then we've got seven which is libra Libra. That's right. So we've got eight and nine, and then number ten, and then eleven and twelve. Okay. So with these cards of time, right? So you've got your zodiac sign, then you've got the um, a little bit of a saying, a little bit of thing about the card. And then you've got the the times there if you were doing times but what I'm going to do at the moment is just want to work out the cards in regards to the um, astrology aspects little messages that are on the bottom here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out oh, okay let's I just want to try something this is just a bit of a vlog a bit of a, a trial to see what happens to see what goes on so okay i'm doing the astrology spread okay just give the cards a good shuffle and i'm going to start whoa okay okay card number one Number two. Okay, I need to stop shuffling. Okay. Yeah. Three. Four. Okay, interesting. Whew. Right, the first one. Aries position, right. So the message was, employ pioneering spirit. And I think it comes from a sense of expansion, um, growth, in regards to my feelings even though i'm dealing with maybe some trials and some tribulations some challenges i think it's about expanding that um, emotional feeling being able to grow and develop within my own emotional feeling so that's an interesting one there next one here is taurus creating a structure with the king of coins so for me, he is, um, uh, sorry, King of Cups, sorry, King of Cups. So creating a structure by maybe not letting my emotions get the better of me, um, being kind, caring, of course. Um, what's that, dream? For some reason, I've just got Dream Builder. Create a structure by building dreams. Interesting one there. i just got Dream Builder. Okay. Searching for exchange by looking at things from a different perspective, looking at what I'm, what I'm, um, 
what I've sacrificed of my journey, being able to look at things so searching for exchange. So it feels like I'm looking for things to um, exchange of energy in some way. So I need to look at things from a different perspective. Maybe look at what I'm sacrificing, that sort of thing. Right, so here we've got Cancer, respect my feelings. And I have the King of Swords. And so I think it's also about being logical. As I respect my feelings, I also need to be sort of logical, analyze, think about things deeply, being able to have that sense of um, knowledge. It's interesting. I get a sense of knowledge gained knowledge in some way being logical analyzing respecting my own respecting my own feelings through but, but also be logical about it okay next is release the power of my heart with the three of swords so I need to sort of um, just get the words of like overcoming the challenge of my perspective in the situation so releasing the power of my heart and interesting I get three of swords and so I get that sense of releasing letting go of the um, perspective of how my heart is interesting oh, that's an interesting one here okay next one here is harvesting the crop and I get ten of I get a sense of wholeness, a sense of completeness, feeling like everything's sort of looking for opportunity to sort of push forward by harvesting what I need in my journey. So that's an interesting combination of cards there. Next we have Libra, which is enjoy your time. So being in thing with the um, page of wands. So what motivates me to enjoy... So looking at my passion, my motivation, my desires. So what pushes me or what desires me to enjoy my time? So enjoying that creativity, that passion is so important there. Next we have heal, this, heal the wounds with Scorpio. And we've got, um, so heal the wounds, and we've got the sun card here. So it's about finding happiness, of course, by healing the wounds. But you've also got that creativity, that Leo energy as well, with creativity, desire, passion. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Okay, justice with Libra. So finding a new meaning, and it's about finding a sense of, balance in the situation, finding that equilibrium, being able to, yeah, I just get a lot about balancing, equilibrium, finding a new meaning. Find a new meaning in your life comes from finding a sense of balance. I think it's very important, finding that equilibrium. Okay, so we've got the moon here with perceived success. So we're looking about successes. So how do we perceive our success? By facing our enemies, by... Um, having that sense of um, moving forward in the cycle, acknowledging your cycle, acknowledging your stage of your cycle, but definitely about facing your fears, acknowledging the unconscious, what lies underneath. Perception, perceived success to bring success. Okay, next we've got the Aquarius, which says give a free, a give a fresh, Give a fresh impetus, impetus, and give a fresh, give a fresh impet. What the world does that say? Give a fresh impet, impetus, imp I M P E T U S. Let me have a look here. That one sort of stumped me a little bit there. Don't know if there's been a word mistake here or so. What are we doing? Eleven. Okay. 
impetuous, give fresh impetuous. Okay, let's have a look to see if this is good. In the time frame of Aquarius, uh, February, you'll find the answer to your question. Now is the time to put unusual methods, new goals, or social agendas relationship. Impetuous, give fresh impetuous. Impetuous. That's an interesting word. Number 11, hidden underneath the wintry snowpack, a completely new life involves. So it feels like it's giving you a fresh start, a fresh possibility to the journey. Okay, so what card did I have here? Um, King of Wands. There's a lot of kings in this, so there's a lot about being practical, being logical. Energy, which is quite interesting. So you're talking about adventures, new possibilities. Again, you've got that, um, yeah, I feel like you've just got to open doorways. Okay, last one is Pisces, find your center with the five of wands. So again, you get that sense of, Oh, I just definitely get that overcoming of struggles, conflicts, and things like that. So finding your centre to find, to be able to overcome those challenges. I think it's about how you choose to react in the situation. Oh, that was kind of interesting to look at here. Remember, these are just quick thoughts. I haven't really dived into the cards as such, but I'm sort of just flicking through, just trying out different ways to use these cards. Um, get to know them a little bit better. I know I've sort of got to go through and have a look at the meaning, you know, because this is a little bit different than Rider Waite Smith. Like, for example, let's do the Five of Wands. I just want to show you. Five of Wands. You will have to cope with the fierce competition, but your determination will pay off. On no account, ignore the advice that more experienced people will give. Be sensible and critical. So yeah, you still get the challenge and the conflicts and things like that. Which is quite good. But then you look at the numbers. Number for five. See, five is, six, is victory. So about overcoming those challenges. Definitely the conflicts and things are overcoming the challenges. That's interesting. Okay. So that's it from me. I'm just rambling now. I just thoughts come into my head and I just ramble. And so when I'm doing my readings and I'm doing quick flicks here, this is just initial thoughts. This is what sort of comes into my mind. Um, I really sort of got to sit down, type up each card. Um, goes into a little bit more detail I mean I really can start exploring because this is a reading for myself I'm just doing a really quick video it's just a real quick thoughts and ideas but once I actually go back to my journal and actually start typing up my own thoughts then um, it can sort of expand in that way anyway so that's it from me don't forget to check the links down below check the links on my channel like subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded take care and blessed be. Thank you.